Hey everybody, welcome back to Cheryl's Soul and Seafood Spiritual Kitchen. How's everybody doing this evening? Okay, first we're going to start off here with a prayer. And it goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake, yea. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod, thy staff, thy comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. All right now, how's everybody doing today, huh? Okay, so I today I'm going to cook a little something for you. And what's on the menu tonight is my special Chinese dish is chicken with broccoli over with or, and oyster sauce over rice, okay? Now, and this meal, this is what I use. Onion and bell pepper, broccoli, and here I have some bok choy. And uh, this is oyster sauce, okay? Now, this is what I'm going to use. You'll see how it's done. It's really good, okay? So, I want to show you guys. If everybody might not be um, <clears throat> familiar with bok choy, I don't know. But this is an a Asian green. And I just want to show you briefly. These are already, every all of this is already washed and prepared for cooking. I just want to show the people who don't know how to uh cut and wash up i'm um, cut wash and cut up the bok choy so you want to cut off this part right here and then discard that and then you want to take the greens and come over you want to wash them off like so kind of get in between every one like this Usually just let the water run and, and make sure it's no dirt or anything like, you know, anything that's green, you have to wash. But these are just little bok choy, bok choy greens. You don't have to really like soak them and wash them over and over and over like you do greens. Cause yeah, greens that have all kind of bugs, grit and everything else in them. These, you can just rinse really good <clears throat> and make sure you see that's clean. There's nothing in it. That's bok choy, that's how you want it to look. And then I kind of just put it together like this. And then I just kind of take it like this and then just across, you know, just like that. And then add it there like that. That's the way I do them, okay? So just for those of you who don't know how to, uh, you know, Wash and prepare the uh, bok choy for cook. That's how you do it. Okay, then we're gonna move this aside really quick and set up. Get that out of the way. Now, <clears throat> now what we're gonna do at this point, we are going to. I have some olive oil here in the skillet in the pot, and at this point, I'm going to get my chicken. So this is the chicken we're gonna use for this meal. It's already been washed and prepared for cooking. So at this point, we are going to add this to the olive oil. Like so, like so. <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Huh? Is everybody doing well? I hope so. God bless you all. Yeah, and I got the, uh, about the merch. I have the merch coming and I did the logo. So I have picked the design and the, uh, and the, it's being worked on as we speak. Yes, so that should be coming really, really soon. So I'm really excited about that, you all. So you guys just look forward to that. So we're going to... Yeah, let that get brown just let it cook rather and then so what we're gonna do we're gonna put a little seasoning in this a little Cheryl seasoning right here like so 
just kind of is. And with this, you don't want to put too much seasoning or salt because I'm a, you don't want to use no salt at all. I just use a little bit of seasoning and the only seasoning I put is on the chicken because the oyster sauce is already flavorful. And if you put salt in it or a gang of seasoning, then it's, your dish will be too salty. So you just want to sprinkle a little bit of uh, seasoning only on your meat and then that's it. That's all you need. And then you just let it uh, simmer like so. So I'm gonna let this simmer for a minute and while I let this simmer, While I let this simmer and uh, get to where I want it to be. Yeah. Just let that do that. So, yeah. So, how's everybody? So, I want to talk to you guys a little bit, you know, while that's simmering, about my video the other night concerning the narcissist, okay? So, I just want to let you guys know that men and women, you have to value yourself. Okay, always have self-worth. Always teach your kids to have self-worth, okay? Because without self-worth, you will let people come into your life and they will treat you any kind of way. And that's just what it is, okay? Because if you don't care about yourself, what make you think the, other, the next person will? Cause they won't, okay? And people without self-worth are really good targets for narcissistic people to move in on you and your territory and your life, okay? And you don't want to do that. And me, I I can be I can admit it. I I didn't have self-worth. I couldn't have had self-worth not being treated like that for so long, you know what I mean? And it's not like, okay, well, people say, "Oh, well, dang, she talk about she was in a relationship with a narcissist that long, and if it was that bad, why you stay? Why you stay?" Good question. I'm still asking myself that, okay? But the reason why you stay is it's, it's because of the manipulation. And it ain't like that they're just constantly, you know, buttholes because they will love bomb you, you know, in and out, you know, during the relationship, okay? But it's just those times where you just can't get anything through to them and when they want to come with you with the disrespect and all of this and it's hard you know it's just really hard to detach yourself from these people once you get with them okay it's just some kind of us uh, uh it's so hard to explain okay you just really have to get spiritual with it you know what i'm saying that's why you need the spirit of god to pull you away from this kind of evil spirit that they are you know what I'm saying? It's kind of it's like you get soul ties, you know, with these people. You know what I'm saying? So once you come to your senses, you got to have all them soul ties released. You know what I'm saying? You totally want to be released from them people. And believe me, one, rather you discard them or they discard you. Because when, you come, when they feel like they want to, yeah, they'll walk out on you in a minute. Okay? They'll discard you without uh, 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 no reason or, or nothing and just leave you, you know, wondering what's going on. Or some people, in my case, I just, hey, I start thinking, I start reading, and I start looking at these videos. And once I did that, hey, it just came to me like that, okay? That I, I, I wasn't gonna do it no more. I made my mind up quick and it didn't take long, okay? So once that happened, it was easy for me to discard, okay? Because I was in my spiritual book and I've been in my spiritual book. I've been in my spiritual uh, videos. Everything is about God and the Lord and, my, and, and the uh, spirit of the Lord, okay? And that's where you have to go to get these people. So when it's like this, you know how chicken makes its own uh, little juices. So now at this point, yeah, so you guys, uh, I'm telling you, know your worth. Do not allow people to come into your life in no kind of way and misuse and abuse you, okay? Nobody, okay? It's just not worth it. 
and it's just a bunch of heartbreak and headache, okay? I'm telling you. So I am going to constantly bring awareness every time I get on this video. I'm gonna be making more and more and more. I got my merch coming, and this is gonna be what it is, okay? And I'm gonna reach people. I know I have already reached some people already. And I'm going to keep on, and I'm going to keep on, and I'm going to keep on until I reach as many as people as I can, okay? And I hope somebody out here is getting a word from this and getting, you know, maybe some kind of idea from what I'm telling you guys about these people. You know what I'm saying? Because you, if, what I'm telling you, if you recognize that you might be in this kind of relationship, I suggest that you try your best to get away from these people. Or it's not going to be nothing but just a bunch of heartache and headache and a big old merry go round So at this point, when your chicken is like this, see? So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna add the broccoli. This is already washed and prepared for cooking. So we're at this point, we're going to put the broccoli in here. How much did I wanna use? about good and we're just going to stir this up together at this point yeah I love this I love to make this meal it's so good this is my version of my little Chinese dish that I make because <laughs> I love Chinese food too but sometimes you don't always want to make it sometimes you want to uh, cook it your own self so this is just the meal that I know. And I love it. Out, Mocha. Out, 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 out. You just love to show her, <laughs> don't you? Every time, out, I said. Yes, girl, you. <laughs> that's my daughter, y'all. Every time I say out, Mocha, she want to show the dog. But so now, that, that's how that's supposed to look now. And then you want to come and put the top back over it and let that cook down a little bit. Yeah, so yeah, like I said, that's what I, that's the word today. The word today is self-worth, for real, self-worth. Because what I've been through for all this time, and then at this point too, you also want to add some onion and bell pepper. You can add this at this time also. Or you could have added it when you sauteed the meat, but I kind of like to add mines. Like now. So that it can get all that flavor in there too. So yeah. We're just going to let this do its thing busy. So I'm going to let that, yeah. Sit there and do that. So yeah, um, you... You always want to have self-worth for yourself. Because like I said, to run across people like this and be in relationships with them and you don't have any self-worth, you'll probably be in it for <laughs> as long and maybe longer than I did. You know what I mean? And it's just a terror. It's a, it's a terror. <laughs> you don't want to do it, okay? So always have self-worth for yourself, okay? Find yourself before you go and get into any relationship with anybody. Know who you are inside. Know who you are. Love you. Love yourself. Everybody, you have to love yourself because if you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else, okay? You just can't. Like, I mean, okay, yeah, I said, yeah, I love him, I love But if I loved him, like, I, I mean, how can I even love and 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 know that I'm being that I'm in love with somebody when I don't even know myself. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But my intentions were good. You know what I'm saying? My intentions was real good. You know what I'm saying? And I know I do love and I know I can love. You know what I mean? But it's the type of love that people it's the type of love when you don't know yourself that you allow people to come into your life and love you in an inappropriate way is what I'm saying, 
okay? And that's what you don't want to do. You don't want to allow people to come in your life and love you inappropriately, okay? And that's why I say you have to love yourself first because before you can have any kind of relationship with anybody. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm having a hot flash. Before you can find yourself having any kind of relationship with anyone, you have to love yourself and know yourself and have self-worth for yourself, okay? This way, when somebody come into your life, these kind of people, honey, you won't even be bothered with them because you will know you. You know, you will know you. And a lot of people, you know, a lot of us, we just want to jump in relationships just to say, oh, we have somebody or just to feel like you have somebody or just to feel loved, you know, or what have you. You know what I mean? That's what we do. A lot of us. You know what I mean? So if you have self-worth and always love yourself before you call yourself letting anybody come into your life and your space because these people are out here. These narcissistic people, they are out here and they are out here big time. You understand me? I'm telling you what I know, okay? They everywhere. Every time you turn around, it's like, it, but, but they, they everywhere, like I said. But the good thing about it is people are bringing more awareness to this every day. And that's the good thing about it. Because 10, 15 years ago, I never seen any, well, not that they wasn't, that, not that they didn't exist, but I never seen any videos like this before. I never heard any uh, uh, information about this, about narcissistic behavior. You know, I didn't. I didn't know, I didn't, I didn't. If I would have, I probably would have been discarded that person a long time ago. And then when you do discard, don't let them come back because a narcissist is the type of person they'll keep on and keep on and keep on. Then they'll start getting mad, you know what I'm saying, and showing their anger, you know what I'm saying, for, 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 for a person that always act like they don't care about anything all the time. They don't care about you like they could just leave you at the drop of the dime because they are the type of people that they always want you to depend on them. The narcissist men... They are, women too, they always want, but I know the man for sure, they always want you to depend on them. Because if you depend on them, then, okay, she depended on me to do this, she depended on me to do that, so, you know what I'm saying, I can just continue to keep her in this little bubble, you know what I mean? Keep her right here where I want her to keep on playing a little head games, you know what I'm saying, keep on the disrespect and all the other little uh, crap that they give out to you. You know what I'm saying? And this is what they do. This is what they do. And then when you finally come to yourself or, you know, just get totally sick of it and then you leave them or either they leave you first, whatever it may be. If they do leave you first, consider yourself lucky. That's all I got to say. Consider yourself lucky. Anybody out there with a narcissist and a narcissist turn around and leave you first, honey, Consider yourself lucky, honey. I know it might hurt, but when you realize what you with, huh, shake it off, pray on it, get in your Bible, get in your videos, your spiritual videos, and pray. Okay? Because that's what's gonna help. And if you didn't discard, and if you and if they didn't discard you and you discarded first, same thing. Same thing. Get to know you. Okay, because that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm knowing, I'm, I'm in, I'm a, it's all about me. Okay, I didn't gave too much to the narc already to give nothing back, to have, to have not returned, to haven't got, gotten anything back from him, should I say. But a bunch of crap, a bunch of lies, a bunch of cheating, a bunch of, uh, you know, manipulation and just games. That's what I got from him. Okay, and I don't need that. I don't need that from anybody. Okay, so like I said, when you do get rid of them, if you are in, have been in a relationship with them, you discard them, know your worth, and don't let them back in. I don't care how much they call you. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't even really answer unless you have kids or something by them, then you probably have to. But you have to find a way to not engage in the games that they're going to put on you because they will call you over the phone and try to get energy from you trying to get fuel from you you know what i'm saying i'm telling you so it, it's some people that really probably can't that feel like they're not strong enough 
you shouldn't even answer the phone for these people at all. Because all they want to do is just come back, reel you in, so you can take them back in, so they can do the same thing over and over again. Because I'm going to tell you something about a narcissist. They don't. We already know they don't take responsibility or accountability for their actions. And they are the type of people that will make the same, do the same thing over and over and over again. Because they don't, they don't, it's something wrong with their brains. I guess they don't think, you know, they think they could just keep doing the same thing over and over. I don't know if they expect a different outcome or not from, from what they be doing. You know what I mean? From their partner, I guess they part, I mean, I don't know what they think. But they seem to think in their sick, twisted minds that they can just keep doing the same thing. I don't know if they think they're going to get a different outcome from the mate. Like, oh, okay, I can just do this again and they're going to be fine with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, once you get tired of their stuff and then you don't want to deal with it no more and you discard them, then it's a problem for them. Not for you, but for them. So now at this point, we're going to add this uh, bok choy here. yellow piece but we're gonna add this woohoo lost one lost one okay let's see I'm let this cook down I need all of this to add that I'll find something to cook with that so we just gonna let this cook down for about maybe five more minutes I know it's not looking like much of nothing now but just watch that out <laughs> We're going to let this cook down. I'm so glad to be here with y'all. I love bringing awareness to uh, narcissism. I never thought, you know what I'm saying? And I'm also about to, I'm, you know, I got my book in process. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want, I want to do a book on my life story. You know what I'm saying? You know, and yeah, it does. I, it is about narcissists, you know, being with the narcissist. You know what I'm saying? Just, ugh. And my whole life. Because once I tell my whole life story, you'll probably get a good idea of why I ended up uh, with the narcissist. So at this point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this. This is the oyster sauce. So I think I'm going to add a little bit more of this bok choy to it enough broccoli but I love bok choy so I love bok choy green so and at this point I'm going to take the oyster sauce this is Lee Kum Key oyster sauce oyster flavored sauce it's really good this is what Asian people use like for beef and broccoli and things like that just in case you don't know it's this so at this point and remember no salt no salt or seasoning salt. So we're just gonna shake this in here. Finger. Got it. It's really thick too, y'all. That's how it should look. That's how the oyster starts look. And then I have another one in here. I'm gonna put some more. I try to keep this. I love. I love to cook this dish. That's why I got oyster sauce in here. Oh wow. Okay. Well, you can watch that. <laughs> she wanna watch me struggle with the. Uh, this one. Ooh. Just sit here. Okay. Now at this point we're going to. Now we're going to stir this, but I don't want to use this. I'm going to use a spoon. this point we're going to stir this all together and the rice
rice is already done there. So we're gonna stir this. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love oyster sauce, oyster flavor sauce. It's so good. I know the name probably throw y'all off, but don't think it tastes like oysters because it doesn't taste like oysters. It's just the oyster sauce. I don't know if they make it with oysters or not, but it doesn't taste like oysters if that's what you're thinking. Because it doesn't. It has a really nice taste to it. So, and that's how. So what I'm gonna do some more of this in here. Shake this one. Okay. And then we're going to let this simmer. So this is how it's going to look. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about, and remember, you don't need no seasoning, honey. Nothing, nothing but what you see me put on that chicken. And this is gonna simmer a little bit, like so. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, that's what it is. Um, I'm telling you guys, uh, know your worth okay don't don't allow these people to come into your life and make a fool out of you and just you know what i'm saying uh have you depending on them and making them you know they'll make you think that they love you at one point you know what i'm saying and then just as soon as they figure they got you or that they have your feelings or that you in love with them they gonna flip on you they gonna turn on you <laughs> Like, like you turn pancakes over. You can believe that. That's exactly what they gonna do. So, like I said, I'm telling you, I want every, excuse me. I want everybody to know that they are not the people to be with. Okay. No, you gotta let go this time. Yeah. So yes. So, and about my merch, you all, I want you guys to really look forward to my merch. Okay, they are working on my logo. I finally found everything to get the printer and the design done. I'm so excited about the merch and I can't wait for you all to see the aprons and the t-shirts I have for you all. And um, I'm writing a book, so I'm working on that. Who I'm trying to get that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, well I've already started it. So it might take a minute to get that out and published and everything so but i'm going to do it you know what i'm saying trust me it's gonna be done and it ain't gonna be done uh it ain't and y'all ain't gonna have to wait too long for that either but that's gonna get done because the book is going to tell you my autobiography from the time i was little to the time i got grown okay and it's going to be very interesting because my life story is very interesting and I ain't going and it ain't no hose bar. Okay. Just like I'm telling it, I'm telling on me too. Okay. Cause it's my story. So I ain't got nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're going to, you're going to know it all. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's what it is. You know what I mean? Because I am at a place now where I can focus on me and my God, and what I need to do for myself. Because I'm always giving, giving to everybody else, making sure everybody else is okay. Now it's time to make sure I'm okay. You know what I mean? I've been focused on the wrong thing for a long time. No more, and no more. So we're gonna come back over here. Now you see how that looks? This is how it's supposed to look, just like that. And this is about ready, because it don't take long, honey. Mm, this is so good. Yeah. 
about done. And this is how it's supposed to look. Just like that when you're done. Another 30 minute meal, y'all. Don't take long. Come home from work, you want something hot, want something good, but you don't want to do nothing drawed out. You know, you want something good for the kids, you, the husband, the wife, whatever. 30 minute meal. So at this point, you can turn that off. And I'm gonna come and get this plate. And I'm going to get a sweet of rice. Bless you. Thank you. Yes. See, my rice always comes out nice and fluffy. I like jasmine rice, y'all. I think I specified to the, that to y'all before. I wash my phone off. And then I want to take this off because I don't want it to continue to cook. So, woo, y'all, I'm having a hot flash. Oh. And then you want to do it like this. You want to take this and just spoon it over the rice like so. Oh, this is so good. Mm. See that? Get you some of this juice. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's delicious. And this. And this is my version of chicken and broccoli Orsha sauce over rice. Now, now let's taste that because I'm hungry. Ooh. Mm. This is so good. I could come over here. Can y'all see this? Mm. This is so good, y'all. I'm gonna get some of this. A piece of this meat. I want everything in this bite. Ugh. Mmm. It's so good. Whoo! I know it's hot. So much flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm There you have it. Mmm. 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 That is so good, y'all. I've been working all day. Mmm. Came home. And got this prepared to get ready for, to cook it for y'all. And this is delicious. I am finna tear this down, y'all. Oh my God, y'all just don't know. Y'all need to try this meal. I'm telling you, the oyster sauce gives so, it's like a sweet and savory flavor at the same time. It's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Um. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to close this video because I'm going to finish tearing that down. But I just wanted to come and cook this for you. And the message for today is know your worth. Okay? And until the next time, God bless you all. Stay away from the narcs. And have a great weekend and a great Mother's Day. And I got something for y'all on Mother's Day too, okay? So you guys have a great evening. God bless you and good night.